Okay, thank you, Mr. Saha, for this interview for Next TV Africa and India. So we'll be talking about Star TV. So what is your role and what are you being up to? Okay, thank you, Priscilla, for the lovely welcome to begin with. You know, had a great time. Uh, so uh, I primarily look at international business on the content side at Star, which means uh, wherever. We have a huge subscriber base across the world. We connect to every South Asian home, yeah, which is available, great, available, you know, across uh, every corner of the world, uh, outside India, and uh, with our seamless, uh, you know, powerful uh, content. And my role is to ensure that the content stays disruptive unique, compelling, so that people like you tune into STAR every day. So what are the content strategies that you have for STAR for India and also for international? Because I think the example of Mauritius, we have STAR TV in Mauritius, it's doubled, it's dubbed, so we have it in French, we have right. it in uh, English version, we have it in Hindi version. So what is that overall strategy? So, so our, basically our You know, we, we reach out to the interna international audiences, the South Asian diaspora, with a single offer saying that we want to give you the best of entertainment in your, in your region, in your region, in your time band, in your language you seek. Okay? So our shows are 100% subtitled in English. Our shows are beamed across the world same day as in India okay there's no time lag so you watch whether you are in New York London Dubai Mauritius you know we have the same shows coming in the local markets same day same time okay and I think that is a unique proposition that only star gives other broadcasters delay it by a day but we do it same day okay and we make it happen uh, our content offering is a mix of te television series content blockbuster movies <coughs> there is a bit of events So we have largely production which are based in India, but we also do connect the dots with the consumers who are based internationally. So we have some local shows also, which uh, radiate what they like, what they prefer. Uh, we do a lot of community events, you know, as a marketing tool across the world uh, to connect to the South Asian diaspora strongly. Uh, but the, in a nutshell, the the role is to give the best of entertainment experience globally to our esteemed consumers. And what are the differences between your content present on your TV channel and what the one on your OTT platform? Is this the, are they the same or in what ways they differ? So OTT in the international space, uh, we haven't really launched in full, you know, we are still, uh, we will be doing that. Uh, obviously, it will be supplemented by the entire library content that you have. So if you want to watch any of the best shows from the library, you can watch that on the OTT uh, service. Uh, in India, it's a free one. Internationally, we'll have a paid version. Yeah, uh, But we'll also have a lot of content which is not there on television. So, so that will that will be have exclusive, content. you know, content to international markets also. So we so have a dedicated team for OTT yeah, we have a dedicated team here. Uh, the team is called the Hotstar team, and the service is called Hotstar Service. They manage it, um, uh, but we we are focused strongly on the consumer, and we want to give them uh, the best viewing experience. Challenges that you have in a big countries like India to make the adoption of the OTT service? So, as I said, uh, you know, the biggest 
constraint uh, is in terms of the bandwidth okay uh, so india the bandwidth is currently the average bandwidth is 2.5 mbps which is very low uh, the developed countries like south korea is 20 mbps okay however uh, that's the there's also a good problem the no, problem can be good or bad the good problem is that the government of india has taken a lot of initiative under the digital india campaign and we are seeing some very big investments uh, on the infrastructure bit so bandwidth will increase definitely so you see opportunities in that which is why this is the best place in the world right now because i think ott will explode in the coming few months yeah. okay uh, and exciting times to be in india yeah. really uh, and, uh, one last question so is it your first participation at the next tv india summit absolutely it's my so first how do you find it? i really loved it thank you for all the warmth for hospitality uh, you know thank you for the honor actually uh, and i really hope uh, that you know you're trying to get the entire community under one roof which is a great thing and i really wish you all the very best i hope this goes from strength to strength and we see a bigger participation next year as well i would love to be a part of you know your platform wherever wonderful. possible so we'll see you in delhi in november thank you thank you <laughs> thank you, thank you so much thank you very much for your time